2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. in the borders of the garments throughout their generations. So we're supposed to have fringes on the border of, borders of our garments throughout our generations, and on that fringe, a border of blue. What are you doing out here today? You, you going somewhere? I came to get the milk, man. Oh, I thought you just came from the mayor or something. No, 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 no. How you know that? You could... That's good, that's good. So what are you dealing with? You have, you have, you have a wife? You're married? You have any kids? No wife? No. No. Girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, I know. You got a girlfriend, okay. Yes, I do, I know, I know. We just went over scripture. First John 5 to 3. It said that these commandments are not grievous. Right. And it said? Right. It's not hard. Burn the soul. If you're disciplined, it's not hard. If you don't got that discipline, it's gonna be a killer. So we, we gotta train ourselves up to have discipline. Right. Part of discipline is if you have a woman, get married. Right. A lot of times we don't want to get married because we feel like, damn, um, if I want to leave her, I can't just leave her. She might get me for child support, alimony. We want to feel like we're not attached to anything. Understand? But we have to be attached to these laws. And if you which, if you want a woman, you must get married. Do that. Hebrews 13 verse 4. Bring it up! Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed under fire. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So marriage is honorable. It's a, when, the, when the Most High sees you actually get married to that woman, meaning get your papers, move her in, take care of her, they would, the, the angels of the Most High in Christ rejoice over that. That's, that's right. Thing. Understand? So by you not bringing forth the fruits of marriage, which is getting your papers, right now you put you in the midst of hormones. Not hormones, I'm Because you're dealing with a woman you're not married to. Now if you get upset with her one day and get up and leave, she feels you left, she goes with another man, now you just turn her to a dozen. Why? Because she's sleeping with you. Now she's not dealing with you, now she's dealing with another man. So now you cause the woman to be a whore. You know, we, we have to break that chain. We, we, in the name of that one thing, it was a great thing to have multiple more women around. We used to brag about, I used to have five, how much you got, six, or you got seven, and you used to get pat on the back. That was, that was an honorable thing in the world. This satanic world, multiple women is an honorable thing. Right. Christ says that marriage is honorable. So, what, what, what are some of the um, negative effects of having a woman and not marrying her? What's some of the negative effects of that? Yeah, yeah. I'm still not making a commitment. Right? Now, if you don't make a commitment, no, you know women love commitments. If she feel like you're not trying to commit to her, what's she going to do? They tire, they, they, they might leave. Like, okay, now, what if you have a child with her? What's going to happen? Child support. How much percent they taking child support was like 27 percent? Right. Isn't that uh, um, something you can easily avoid? By making sure you deal with a woman that you really want to be with and then marry her? That would avoid so much problems. Single parent households, or even to say she gets pregnant. She knows you don't want to marry her? What, 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 what might she do? Go get an abortion and kill your child. Scriptures, thou shalt not kill. Abortion is murder. That's right. right. Let's see this bill. 
out. Meaning whatever you do in your house, in that bed, that's on you. As long as you're not breaking any laws pertaining to fornication. As long as there's no animals in the bed with you. As long as she's not on her cycle. As long as there's no other dude or other woman in there with you. Is this you and her? That's up to y'all. Just don't kill each other in there. You know, take it easy. Understand? Marriage is honorable. Now you know the color of Christ, right? What's the um, negative effects of our people thinking that he's white? White supremacy. White supremacy. And when does that come along? What, what does that do for our children? My, my son is five, six years old. If he goes to school and he sees that, oh, and he has a mentality that Jesus Christ is white. When he sees his white teacher, what's he going to think? He's going to think that they're above. That they're superior to him. Superior, right? right? So now when I tell him, son, don't do this. And he goes to school and teacher says, it's okay to do that. Who's he going to listen to? Right. That superior figure in his brain, which is the image of Christ, meaning his teacher, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. Understand? So these are this is how deep the scriptures go. That's why it says, give me uh, John 8:32. That's why scriptures tell us that knowing the truth will set us free. It goes deep. We've been hearing that the truth shall make you free for so long, but we had no idea what it meant. We just keep reciting it, reciting it, but no idea what it means. Read that. Book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Ye shall know the truth. What's the truth? The truth is the Bible. The truth is the Bible. Okay. Do you know what how, do you know how to prove that out of the scriptures? What the actual truth is? Does everyone think they got the truth? Muslims think they got the truth. Pentecostals think they got the truth. And an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. So what's the truth? So being that the law is the truth, does the Catholic Church have the truth? Why is that? Because they raping kids. They're idolaters. They're idolaters, they're rapists, they're pedophiles, the whole nine. They, they, they're just they're just defiled. So you cannot walk into a Christian church and seek for the truth. That's why when you come to the truth, you have to read this Bible. Bring it up! Like what the officer said? Right here is where the truth is being brought out. Why? Because the Bible is here. Nothing to do with him. It's not me. Don't look at me like I'm any greater than you are. I'm your brother. Just like, you know, we all brothers out here. Right. Like what brings us higher is the scriptures. And we follow this. Yeah. Understand? Now, you said, um, you live around here? All right, so why you haven't been congregating there? Give me that in Hebrew. Uh, congregating. Um, let's say not the assembly. Why have you, why have you been congregating there? 10 minutes a day, man. I came in the day. All right. But you know it's the law to congregate, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Right. Give me that. And after that, give me that in the Leviticus 2. Hebrews chapter 10. So right now, I know you know a lot of these things, but we're giving you more ammunition. Why? Because the scripture says to prove all things. When you say something, you want to be able to prove it with the scriptures. Because everybody else is saying a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of crazy stuff, and we ask them, what scripture is that? You hear a lot of silence. When they beat around the bush, oh well, you know, I got everything up here. Nah, you got to go here. Because remember, where's the truth at? Right here. So that's why everything we say, we got to be able to prove it out of this Bible right here, this book. The whole Chapter 10, verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much more, the more. So it says, forsake not the assembly. We're supposed to be around each other. What are some things that blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans love to do? We love to party. Where do we get that from? We got that from the Bible. Give me Leviticus 23 and 2. All these, all these holidays we like to celebrate, parties, barbecues, we actually, that's, that's in our DNA. We will always like that. We love to be around each other, have a nice drink, laugh, joke, play some games. We were like that from, this, from way back from when we, we first started as a nation. Read that. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. And say, speak unto the children of Israel, you from the tribe of Judah, right? Speak unto you and tell you what? Concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Even these are my feasts. Right, so all the feasts of the Lord are holy convocations. Yeah, now we're supposed to congregate. We're supposed to be around each other in gladness. We're supposed to be happy to be around each other. Don't come around with no animosity. Don't come around with your problems. You came back the job. Your boss want to fire you. Don't come on the Sabbath with that. Don't congregate with that. So what's going to happen? You're going to start looking crazy sitting over in the corner by yourself. So read them. 
Deuteronomy 28, 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness, and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So, because we wasn't happy on the Sabbath, why wasn't we happy? What are one of the laws on the Sabbath that, that we were supposed to do was made us upset? We couldn't buy and sell. We want to make our money, and we were mad because, damn, today was the seventh was the seventh day Sabbath. Tomorrow's a new moon. I can't sell for two days. So we used to come to the Sabbaths upset. Yeah, yeah, here's a sacrifice. Yeah, they weren't happy with it. So we have to change the state of mind. We have to be happy to be around each other. Black right. people hate being around each other. They come around, but there's always a fight. There's always a shootout, a stabbing. Mom slap daughter in the face. You know, so it's a world star hip hop type thing going on. So we're supposed to be around each other in gladness and joyfulness. Go back to Leviticus 23. So we're gonna go back into the high holy days. We're supposed to be keeping, being that we know we're Israelites now. We're supposed to forsake these. Uh, what do you call it? New Year's, um, the Easter's, Christmas, uh, Easter, Thanksgiving, um, Fourth of July. These things don't pertain to us. Right. These are like remember what we said earlier. White supremacists. These are white supremacist holidays. Labor Day coming up. What's it tomorrow? Labor Day is tomorrow. Monday. Monday. Labor Day is Monday. What does Labor Day have to do with you? What is Labor Day? Who, what is Labor Day? It has nothing to do with me. What, what is Labor? To work. Right? Do you have a job? I don't have a job. Do you love to get up every? What time do you start work? I start working in the, in the morning. I got two two gigs. So do you have to? So do you love? Oh man, I can't wait to go to work. <laughs> two two different jobs. Oh, I love this. We even have a holiday for this. Is that how you think? I, I work. I work on Monday. Man. Okay, so but, but my point is, do you love that? Not necessarily. Right. You like it because it, it brings money in your pocket. Leviticus 23 verse 6 and on the 15th day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. One of the feasts we have is the feast of unleavened bread. Now flip over, we're gonna go through a few of them. These are all hot, this is all days are supposed to keep holy and to congregate. These are our parties, understand? Righteous parties. Verse 27, also on the 10th day of the 17th seventh month there shall be a day of atonement it shall be an holy convocation unto you so right now we have the day of atonement coming up the day of atonement is the day that the most high chose that he's gonna be that he will forgive our sins from all the previous year so on that day we fast we, we proclaim it as a sabbath that's another day we're supposed to get together and congregate in joyfulness and happiness and gladness you shall afflict your soul and offer an offering made by fire unto the lord now Christ is the ultimate sacrifice, so we don't sacrifice anymore. But the rest of these laws pertain to the holy day, the high holy days, we're supposed to continue to follow. Understand? I get the one up the tabernacle. Verse 34. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the feast of tabernacle for seven days unto the Lord. So for seven days, we gotta be together in the forest, in the wilderness somewhere, having, you know, joyfulness, cooking, you know, talking, going over scriptures. We're supposed to be right. That's a seven-day party, basically. So why do our people like to gravitate towards Labor Day um, um, and all these other um, holidays, and they don't even pertain to us? And ours is better. Ours lasts longer. That's but right. These, after the, this, read, read it from the top again. Let me show you. On the Feast of Tabernacles, like, the first day is the Sabbath, right? Continue. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the feast of tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be in holy convocation. You shall do no servile work therein. Seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be in holy convocation unto you. So, on the first day, it's a Sabbath, it's a rest day. And seven days later, it's another rest day for us that we're supposed to enjoy each other's company. Right. So once again, why do we like to go to the other high, the other holidays in society? If not, not possible. Why is that? 
because we, we don't know who we are. Master told us, hey, today is my birthday. You better be, you better, you better, you better come to me, tell me happy birthday, go pick extra cotton for me, rub my shoulder, rub my back, treat me like a god on that day. Right. That's another day that we that blacks love. They be on social media, everybody, my birthday is in two days, my birthday is in, they got a countdown. Why? Because we don't know who we are, we adapt to the other nations. Read that. Proverbs 331. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. The scripture says, envy not thou oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Ending your oppressor is dyeing your hair blonde. Right. Women wearing pants. Right. Men wearing dresses. Right. Going to church, women, you not having your head covered. Right. Y'all got that from the white woman. The scripture tells us that the women are supposed to have their head covered when they're worshiping God. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.